We want an immediate end to the police brutality and mob attacks against the so-called Negroes throughout the United States. Yes, a complete end to the police brutality and mob attacks that our people are confronted by every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year across the land. Brother, show me those, you got those pictures? Brother, grab that picture of Brother Ronald. Let me show you what I mean by police brutality and mob attacks. Come over here with that. Here is a man, a Korean vet. This is a black man, a Korean vet. Went to war in Korea fighting for America. Risked his life fighting for America. And came back to this country and was shot down by the white man like a dog. Not some Ku Klux Klansman down in Mississippi. This black man was shot through the heart by policemen in Los Angeles, California. And they are dumb enough to think we have forgotten it. Well, Muslims never forget. You don't kill our brother. We don't never forget. You don't shoot one of us and then grin in our face. You don't shoot one of us and then shake our hands and think we forget it. No, we never forget. We'll never forget. Someone has to pay. Somewhere, somehow, someone has to pay. When a snake Fight your children. You don't go and look for the snake that has blood on his jaws. Any old snake will do. Any old snake will do. They shot him through the heart. And as he lay dying on the sidewalk, they beat that hole in his head with police clubs. Not in Mississippi, but in Los Angeles, California. Not in the south, right there in the north, in the west. Here it shows. Here it shows. Men, black men, laid all over the sidewalk, shut down by police bullets. Not men who were guilty of some crime, not men who were drunk, not men who attacked anyone, but they shot their way into our mosque, shot their way into our religious sanctuary, and got the audacity to walk around here talking about this as a country based upon uh, the principles of freedom of religion and freedom of worship and freedom of speech. This country is based upon nothing but hypocrisy. And it's based upon nothing but the right of white people to mutilate and shoot down black people. This is the brutality that we're talking about. This is the crime that we're talking about. And you say we teach hate. What kind of hate are we teaching? We're telling you what happens to black people. And this man didn't get shot down because he was a Muslim. They didn't ask him what his religion was. They saw that he was black and they began to fire point blank. And then when they went to court, these Gestapo, they were the criminals. They didn't go to court. They charged him. He's a dead man. And they charged him with a crime. But these Negroes here shut down were charged with a crime. And you haven't heard anybody open their mouth about it. You wonder why you're having trouble in this country. You're having trouble because the devil is on the rampage. A blue-eyed devil is on the rampage. A heartless devil is on the rampage. A beast is on the rampage. And you haven't got sense enough to know how to handle him. So, so we don't try and handle him. God is going to handle him. We ask God to give him justice. We ask God to trap him. We ask God to catch him. We ask God to deal with him. And we pray that God deals with more of them day after day. Right. And what ones God don't get, we'll get them. For eight weeks, eight weeks in Los Angeles, 15 so-called, 14 so-called Negroes set on trial, charged by the police with police with uh, assault, charged by the police with intent to commit murder. You haven't read anything about it in the paper. You haven't seen anything about it and heard anything about it from these blue-eyed white so-called liberals. They quieted it down. They hushed it up. And none of the Negro leaders opened up their mouths during the trial. They were silent while they had a rally of 35,000 Negroes in uh, one of those state Wrigley Fields in Los Angeles while the all-white jury was in session. And not one of them came forth and mentioned what had happened to those 14 Negroes in that, in that city. And they wonder why things are developing to what they are today. No, you don't get justice in court. A black man can't get justice in court. A black man can't get justice in the court system of America. And I'm telling you, the only way you get justice is in the street. The only way you get justice is in the sidewalk. The only way you get justice is when you make justice for yourself. You never will get justice in the white man's court. No, not me. I never want him to take me.
me to court. I saw what he did with my brothers. I see what he has done with them right here in New York City. So make sure you obey the law. Make sure you never commit a crime. Make sure you never de deviate from the law. But any time one of them puts his hands on you, take him off the planet. Take him off the planet. for ourselves. 